From West African leaders, another condemnation of the coup in Niger, the threat of military intervention still on the table. But the current chair of the bloc, Nigeria's President Bola Tinubu, also made it clear it's a path they want to avoid. It is crucial that we prioritize diplomatic negotiations and dialogue as the bedrock of our approach. Hard to do if the coup leaders don't want to talk. Yesterday, Nigerian envoys did manage a meeting with the coup leader, General Abdurrahman Chiani. That's critical, say analysts, if Niger is to avoid bloodshed. We are desperate to have democracy. But at what cost? Olayenka Ajala says the general has African leaders and the West in a tough spot. This coup is bloodless. Not a drop of blood has been shed. So do we want a democracy that is going to be established on the blood of tens of thousands of people if there is an invasion and, and um, a resistance? Miami resident Sadiq Diara says the coup has brought optimism. I can see that people are really united now, he says, and we're very happy that these soldiers have come to power. Support for the coup in other parts of the country is less clear. One former politician and rebel leader reportedly putting together a movement to see the deposed president, Mohamed Bazoum, reinstated. Ajala fears internal fighting will open the door even wider for jihadists. We don't want another Syria in that region. We don't want another caliphate. But the junta is clearly setting in for the long haul. They've set up a new cabinet with 21 members. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London.